Hello everyone. We've come out to the middle of the desert today to talk to you about an important topic that we believe anyone who has thought about getting solar on their RV has thought about at one point or another. And that is the pros and cons between lithium batteries and lead acid batteries. We have a lithium battery bank, more specifically a lithium iron phosphate battery bank. And so we know firsthand the differences between lithium batteries and lead acid batteries. And we've made a nice long list that we're going to share with you today. So we're gonna start with the pros first. And the first pro of lithium is that it weighs less than one third of the comparable sized lead acid battery. Mm -hmm. Now this can make a huge deal if you plan on having a large battery bank. And it's even more important if you're going to be placing that battery bank toward the front of the RV near its tongue. If you have a large lead acid battery bank, that could exceed the weight limit, the hitch weight limit of your truck. Unlike wet cell lead acid batteries that regularly need checked and their electrolyte levels replenished, lithium batteries don't need that kind of maintenance. As long as you install them correctly and charge them properly, you never have to touch them. They are zero maintenance. Lithium batteries are physically smaller than comparable capacity lead acid batteries. Therefore, you can fit a larger capacity battery bank in a smaller compartment with lithium batteries, which is great for small compartments like an RV that we have. Lead acid batteries vent toxic and acidic vapors as they charge and discharge. This severely limits where and how you can store them. And this vapor condenses on and corrodes the battery terminals. Lithium batteries, however, don't vent. So you can store them anywhere, including sealed compartments and interior compartments. And no corroded battery terminals. Lithium batteries can be charged and discharged incredibly fast without harming them. This means you can run hydro appliances and then recharge your batteries incredibly fast and it won't reduce the life cycle of your batteries. Our 200 amp hour batteries are rated at a maximum discharge rate of 100 amp hours. And you can also continuously charge them at that rate too. And lead acid batteries just can't stand up to that. Another pro of lithium batteries is that they maintain their voltage throughout the entire discharge cycle. This means greater and longer lasting efficiency of your electronics. Whereas lead acid battery voltage drops considerably and consistently throughout the entire discharge cycle. Another comparison where lithium beats out lead acid batteries is in depth of discharge and usable amp hours. A lead acid battery can only be discharged down to 50% of its capacity before it begins to be harmed whereas a lithium battery can be deeply discharged all the way down to 20% of its capacity before its lifespan is reduced. This means you get more usable amp hours out of a lithium battery than its comparably sized lead acid battery. An example of this is if you have a 100 amp hour lead acid battery, you only have 50 amp hours of usable capacity, whereas in a, lithium, a 100 amp hour lithium battery, you have 80 amp hours of usable capacity. Charge efficiency of lead acid batteries is only 85%. This means for each amp sent to the battery, only 0.85 amps are stored. Lithium charge efficiency is 99%, so there's virtually no loss during charging. That means nearly every amp sent to the batteries is stored for use. This is incredibly important. It means you can use a smaller solar array when having a lithium battery bank. You'll need a 15% larger solar array to charge lead acid batteries as fast as a lithium battery bank. The lifespan of lithium batteries is incredible. Our lithium iron phosphate batteries are rated to last 5,000 cycles, whereas most lead acid batteries are only rated to last 400 or less cycles. That means that our lithium batteries should last over 10 times as long as their lead acid counterparts. That's incredible. Yeah. Lithium is better than lead acid in almost every way. When you compare the performance and lifespan numbers, it's not even close. However, lithium does have one con, and that is upfront cost. Lithium battery bank can cost as much as three times that of a comparable lead acid battery bank making it incredibly expensive and at first glance, unaffordable. However, despite the higher upfront cost of lithium, the true cost of ownership is far less than that of lead acid when you consider lifespan and performance. Again, lithium batteries last over 10 times as long as lead acid batteries. So in the long run, you will save money through not having to continually replace lead acid batteries. We looked at the large upfront cost of lithium as an investment that would save us money and time 
let alone perform way better than lead acid. So taking all this into consideration, lithium is that rare occurrence where there really are no downsides. They perform better than lead acid batteries in every single way. Even looking at cost, the large upfront cost may be a downside, but if you look at it from a long-term perspective, they actually will pay themselves off and cost less than lead acid batteries in the long run. So far, we love our lithium batteries and don't regret making the investment to purchase them. Time will only tell how long they last and perform, and we'll be sure to let you guys know if we have any issues. If you have any questions for us, be sure to leave a comment below or on the blog post. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos from us, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want more details on what we talked about today, go ahead and check out the link to the blog post in the description below. Catch you guys later. Bye.